in our driveway getting ready to go downtown into downtown Indianapolis. We're going to go to the Rathskeller and we're going to taste some beer. <laughs> um, it's our first crossover episode of Susan B TV and two questions TV. I'm a little nervous because I haven't done that yet, um, but I think it's going to be fun. And um, yeah, so we're going to taste some beer, Dovetail Brewery at the Rathskeller. And <laughs> do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> no, no, no. I just think I've said it all. You did. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go taste some beer. So we are here at the Rathskeller in Indianapolis, and we are here with our friends, our new friends, who I just interviewed on TwoQuestions.tv about their brewery, Dovetail Brewery. So, gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. We have Bill. And Hagen, yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. And they are the brew masters at Dovetail Brewery, the geniuses behind what we are about to taste. So. I don't know about geniuses. Well, I read it. I read it. <laughs> so tell us what we are about to experience. So we are about to, to try uh, two of our beers, uh, the Lager and the Dunkel. So which is a which is a dark Lager. Okay. Um, and, and you make beer a totally different way. We touched on this in the. In, in the two questions on TV, you make beer totally different than anyone else. I don't know if it's totally different than anyone else, but we 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 uh, we do it a little different than uh, than we make these lagers. You know, mo a little different than uh, most of the lagers you'd find uh, made in the U.S. Um, we make it kind of the way you'd find it made in a small family-run brewery in the middle of Bavaria. Um, using I traditional mean, methods. Isn't that, isn't that how you want your beer to taste? Like, isn't that what you want, right? Like, that's the whole point, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> that's, how, that's why we did this, you know, did, did this this way. We, we wanted to bring some of the those, those good beers back, and we're, we're just we're brewing the beer we want to drink, too. So. Oh, well. It's selfish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do it. Let's let's try some beer. Right. So tell us about this. There you Thank go. You. That's yours. I'll take that. Yeah. What are we drinking here? So, this is our lager. We call it lager. We don't have any like fancy names for our <laughs> beers. Um, and uh, the, our intent uh, behind this beer was to design that uh, that beer that we dream about. You know, like, so, so we just wanted a really, really nice drinking lager. And, and uh, what does that? So, what does that mean to us? You know, it means that. You know, the, the, the foam has died down, but when we when it's we serve it to cup. you, this is a this, this is a cup, you know. But but uh, uh, if you come to the tap room, we serve in a nice stein, and we and we, uh, uh, we it comes to you with a, a stand of foam above the rim of the glass. Uh, it's got this nice nice golden color. Yeah. Um, when you when you, you you get the aroma, it's very malty. Oh my god. <laughs> Leo, you're going to really like this. This is your kind of beer, right? Yes, I love lager. It's like, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Now, cheers. Now when you taste cheers. it, yep. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. When you taste cheers. it. Whoa. That gets a whoa oh, from me. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. That's really good. So so that is, um, that, that first thing you get on the, on the taste is like a softness, right? It feels very soft in your mouth. Uh, and that's just something we consider very important to a lager. Um, so much so that we make our own water. If we're, if Sorry, what? We make our own water. <laughs> so our water... It's, it's a long process. Yeah. We, you know, we each take a molecule and we <laughs> throw it at each other. Yeah. Mondays. It takes all of Monday <laughs> to do that. I mix my own water as well. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> you guys really are doing it like the monks. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, so our, our water matches the uh, the mineral profile of uh, the town of Pilsen in the Czech Republic, the the original home of Pilsner beer. It's very soft, very soft water, low in minerals. Um, not that Chicago water, you know, is bad, but it, it's great water actually. But for a lager, the soft water we feel is better, and so that's what gives that softness to it. And then. Um, the taste, you know, you get this like graininess, maybe a little bit of a you know, maltiness, uh, very slight sweetness, and then it fades into the bitterness. Yes. Uh, and, and then that goes into a dry aftertaste and a very pleasant bitterness on the aftertaste. Oh. I never tasted beer like this. It's awesome. I'm learning so much. <laughs> and then it, it's actually back to the visual for us. So, so we always say, uh, 
We laugh as if thumbs. And, and, and we say it, we say it just like that. Just like yeah, that. Yeah. If you don't say it, he loves the phones. You know, yeah. <laughs> so so you see this like this lacing, yeah. even on the plastic cup. It's uh, yeah. You get you get a nice lacing on it. So like when you're as you drink, as your glass empties, you got this this pretty thing to look at. You know, yeah. while you're ordering your next beer. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is really drinkable. It's fantastic. Really I nice. Really. We're almost done with our first one, so. Whoa. So it's like we said. It is. It is really three, drinkable. Couple three four. Couple three four. Oh my gosh. It's maybe good we don't live in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you can get it in Indy. All right. Well, now we're in trouble. That's how we. That's how we design it. Nice and easy drinking. It's tasty as well, you know. I'm, I like uh, lager with that little beer bite, you know, at the end. This is perfect, perfect. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bill, you were saying you always wanted to create a brewery? Yeah. That was on twoquestions.tv. So, like, always, always? Or, like, when you were a child, you were like, I would like to be a brewer? <laughs> uh, I, yeah, probably. Probably since, uh, probably since I was a young boy. I had these uh, a couple of cousins that collected brewery, Anna. Right, so I'd always go over to their, their houses and they're just covered in wall to wall of brewing, uh, old brewery advertising. Wow. And I just thought how cool that would that would be and then maybe someday I can make my own brewery advertising. You know, and then then I started stealing beer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was always good beer because I was like, these clubs, like they come to Indiana, they, they live up in Michigan. They come to Indiana and like bring back beer, or they bring back beer from wherever. And so the family cooler was at parties was always full of different beer. And, uh, How did you meet? Ah, uh, well, we, we met in uh, in beer school. Beer school. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a real thing, and it's awesome as much as it sounds. It would be. It does sound awesome. Yeah, yeah, of the course and uh, yeah just hit it off we like to study and Great. study <laughs> study this is studying yeah, right yeah. now we're studying also <laughs> yeah, we're helping you we're helping you study our, our beer that's right. yeah. that's right. I'm sure you took a lot of work home <laughs> we, you know, that's, the, that's the tough part about beer school you, yeah you just take it home with you yeah, yeah. <laughs> homework <sighs> oh my goodness well all right so this was so drinkable that we're all mm -hmm. we've we've Drunk it all. It's. Are we right? Should we move on to our next beer? Yes, I think we should. Okay, tell us sure. what we're looking at here. All right. So this is our uh, our Dunkel. Dunkel. This is a. Um, it's our. Uh, it's, got a little bug in it. uh, <laughs> it's natural. This is just a, it's a, a dark lager. Uh, this one is reminiscent of. Uh, Northern Bavaria, kind of Franconian region of Germany. Um, at that area of Germany is kind of the Disneyland of beer. Um, just a really small area of Germany, but every little town has a brewery. And some of these breweries could just be really small or, you know, or somewhat bigger. I mean, we remember we went to one that was uh, in a butcher shop. You had to actually go to the butcher shop and, like, order your beer. Uh, and then go and then go yeah. sit at, at outside. You could order your beer, and then you could order like uh, uh, like a, a, a sandwich on a on a roll. You know that they would like they cut the meat for you, and it was just meat on a roll. You know? yeah. yeah, it was great. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so this, this beer is kind of our interpretation of uh, of that area of uh, Germany and some of our memories of yeah. the drinking dark, there. The dark lagers that they make up there. I never had a dark lager. It's, uh, oh, okay. So. First okay. time. Here we go. Chin chin. As they say in my yes. in my country. <laughs> oh. Also soft. Because of the same water? Yep, same water. This is very good. 
cooked a little roaster, like chocolate aroma. Yeah, oh, I was yeah, just yeah, wondering if that thing. was coffee I, I, or chocolate yeah, or coffee, yeah. chocolate. Yeah, roast. Yeah, that's the, the perfume. I couldn't get it. You know, with this nose, you'd think it should. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. That's really good. Wonder. So you have these two types at the moment? Mm -hmm. No. No. Nine. Nine? Nine. Nine. Well, eight. Okay, but I thought nine. nine. Yep. Eight, eight right now at the at the Rotskeller. Okay. Um, so we also make uh, we make several different lagers. Um, uh, we have a Vienna lager, which is more of a red a red colored lager. Um, uh, we have uh, a Pils here. Uh, we also make a Bohemian Pilsner. Um, Pils is more of a it's a sharper, you know, light, lighter. Uh, you know, more bitter beer, but but very drinkable also for the summer. Like nice for nice for uh, warm days. The um, Bohemian Pilsner is more like the, the type of Pilsner you'd find in in the Czech Republic. Um, the uh, smoked lager, a Rauch beer. Yeah. Uh, so so in this area of uh, Franconia, there's a town called Bamberg. Uh, great town, ninety thousand people, ten breweries. <laughs> Two malt houses. Those are guys that make the uh, malt that uh, brewers can use. And, and two of those uh, ten breweries make smoked beer. I've never even heard of smoked beer. Do, have you? No. no. What is? It? What is it? Well, so, yeah. yeah so uh, the the malt that the beer is made from is uh, dried over uh, a wood smoke, and so it picks up that smoky flavor. Uh, and then when we brew the beer with that malt, it, the, the smoky flavor gets into the uh, into the beer itself. Uh, so it's uh, we we like to describe it as almost like eating a bar of chocolate in a in a smokehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Can anyone say no to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. So 200 years ago, every beer was a smoked beer. Before they figured out how to how to use heat exchange and and, and uh, uh, roast or toast or dry malt with clean air, they did it directly from from a fire. You know, warm air from a from a wood fire, and and as a result, every beer was, yeah. was smoked. But I highly recommend if you're in Indianapolis, go to the Rascaler, Fat Dan's. We're going to put a list of the places where you can get uh, their their beers in Indianapolis, at least, and and also we'll put a list of Chicago as well, or we'll just link to their list because it's it's complete. So we'll do that. Um, but but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Okay, so we just wrapped up our time at the Rascaler and now we're gonna go to Fat Dan's where we're gonna get a burger and a little more beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we uh, we had this uh, great interview with these great guys who do great beer, so everything was great. And we need a little more, so <laughs> off we go. Come with us. Okay, so we are here at Fat Dan's. We decided to come across the street and see if outside of the romance of the Rathskeller and con with food, we thought we would see how the, um, the beer actually is. So, here we are. Chin -chin. Yeah, it's still just as good. It's oh. just as good. Awesome. It's so good. So, okay, we're gonna highly recommend that you come to Fat Dan's or any of the places we've lived to list. I've had a little too much beer now. <laughs> any of the places we've listed in the show notes, uh, make sure that you check those out and try this beer.